at least. Okay, so Karn seems like a good, safe pick that is just strong. Um, everything else seems quite weak, so I'm inclined for this. What do we think, chat? Karn is just fine, though, especially if we get, like, a green ramp deck. This card is actively great, you know? Yeah, Karn or Triumph, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with the Karn. I love Planeswalkers and Cubes. My favorite decks are just like green ramp decks with a bunch of walkers. I love it. That's my shit. That is my shit, y'all. Tezzeret, that Planeswalker does not seem good, so I don't think we're gonna do that. Um Well, this pack also sucks. We just get Fabled Passage, probably? Dragon Master Outcast is just a really powerful card, too. Maybe that's, that's like, worth taking. <laughs> Inscription? Yeah, what does this one even do? It's just not a very good card. Yeah, I think Outcast is actually just an insanely powerful magic card. I think it's worth taking. Uh, okay, we could go a blue-red deck. I think I like blue red. Just go with Dorrit and try to hit home. Maybe Dorrit's just not that good, but it's fun. Into the Row might just be a better card too. All right, whatever. Let's get our favorite pet going. Eliminate, yeah, that would have been reasonable as well too. But it's my favorite pet, you know? Or perfect pet, that's right. I thought it was favorite pet the whole time. I'm not going to lie, y'all. <laughs> You're clear. AK Sprite Dragon, yep. Okay, so search is really good. Lotus Field's a pretty big Nambo with Dragon Lord Outcast. It's just got to be Surge here, right? Card's just so powerful. All right. Die if I saw you. Die if I ever saw you. Oh, I know how good it'll be if we end up being a slower blue red deck. Not good. Not good at all. It's probably going to be bad even if we did have a lot of spells. Like, you really need a dedicated deck for it, but it could also just be absolutely bananas, you know? Okay, Banefire's pretty good. Oh, Curious Obsession. I could be in. And the lands are good here. This is a good pack for us. We have to really be that kind of deck for Curious Obsession, but it's so good. The safer pick is probably just Banefire or just Sulphur Falls. What do you think, chat? I think Sulphur Falls is better than Pathway, yeah. Yeah, I think I think Lad is probably best. Yeah, I think you're right, chat. I think you're right. You're smart. Yeah, Dr. Coldhead. I'm a little more greedy than the Mangu, I guess. A little greedy. Yeah, that's true. Obsession could come back. That doesn't seem like the most powerful cube card. Seems really hard to be a good Curious Obsession deck. Dragon Master Outcast, Curious Obsession it. Not great. Not great.
Okay, well, we got another land. Yeah, it just gotta be. It's pretty nice. Electro Dominance, yeah, that is a badass card. I just don't even see that as a playable card. We definitely could have. We definitely could have, SPS. I just don't see Electro Dominance as a real card just because, you know, I just see it in like the combo decks in Modern. Okay. Some good cards here. Maze Mind Tome's pretty good. Dungeon Geist I'm not in love with. Um, and Seagate Restoration is okay, but I'm gonna take a Tome here. Maybe we can be a blue-red uh, kind of tempo control something. Right now we're just blue-red cards. And not even really blue-red. We can really pivot away from whatever. Our red cards are pretty expend. I mean, either is expendable if we find something we really like. Or it's just going to be a two mana one one that we never pump. <laughs> two mana one one that we never pump once. With mill stuff again. Get a little crabby again. I'd be in. If Niv wheels, we'll pivot. How about that? That's only fair. We got a decent setup to a Niv deck. Yeah, damn right. That's the chat favorite right there. <laughs> Y'all are hoping for all these obscure decks. I'm just hoping for a playable pile of cards. Because I've had so many drafts where I just end up with absolute dog shit. Well, I never want to see this card again in my life. Um, Is this card even good in our deck? I don't think so. Probably just supreme. Oh wait, Devil's Play is actually pretty good. Yeah, let's take Devil's Play. Okay, great cards here. Um, I can see any of these four actually being picks. I want to take one of the spells because they're actually good. Do I just take an unbeatable Sailor? Yeah, you underestimate my love for Sailor, y'all. I can't pass that card. Okay, pick script conscription. It's not very good, but I scrubbed out. I went uh, two three. It was not my day today, uh, Wild Hog. Not my day at all. We had fun, but actually, it wasn't that fun. I take that back. Yeah, I think I uh, last week Arcanist was a great deck. This week, I don't think it was very good. play the sprite yeah wild hogs we both uh win two three then huh dang it Woo! for sub in a while here what up sd horita coming in with that twitch prime thank you so much my friend let's drop some bombs on the new sub bang is eliminate that good in the cube it doesn't seem great to me Definitely a powerful card, but. Prime, prime, prime. Okay, is this card playable? Not really, but we'll put it in our sideboard just in case. Oh, another one, Doom Waffle. Nice name, coming in with that Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Bomb Squad. Okay, we got Curious. And we got a Sailor. We got some good one drops. Daredevil's pretty good too. We're gonna we're gonna try to be a curious obsession deck. And here's Niv. And here's the Niv. Oh my god! <laughs> Shit. 
This card's so good. I'm sorry I failed you. I failed you. This card's playable. Don't kill me, chat. We'd have to completely dissect our deck. Chat's gonna riot. I know it. I know it. Okay. This card's pretty good. Otherwise, we don't really have much in our colors. We can just deem worthy here. Oh yeah, Essence Scatter is pretty good too. That's probably better than Deem Worthy, huh? Yeah. Riley, we're a blue red deck. Now we need some discard stuff or do we just, I bet that wheels. So I bet we take something better like Chandra. Chandra seems pretty good right here. I love that card too. Yeah, let's take this. That card is good too. Huh. What do we think is better, chat? We did bad in the qualifier, unfortunately. All right, we'll take the good creature. Oh, Bomi. Hey. Barely saw that. Bomat's awesome. Okay, Castle's pretty sweet. Probably just want a Castle here. Castles can't be that good, though. Maybe I just Fibble Fip? I do love me a good Fibble Fip, y'all. All right. All right, we got a sensor, Grim Lava Mancer. Another one drop for, yeah, Fibble Dev can hold Curious Obsession, that's true. Grim Lava Mancer is probably better in our deck. All right, I'm kind of liking our deck so far, y'all. I don't know if it's strong, but it, it's fun at least. It looks pretty gas so far. Yeah, search is still fine. I'm definitely playing that search. God's Pharaoh's gift, young peasy. Are we just blue red spells? Hell yeah, even though I didn't want to see another young pyromancer for the rest of my life after today, but. Hell yeah. Don't think we're this kind of deck. It's either Magma Jet or Awakening. I think Awakening is actually quite good in our deck. It's better than Magma Jet, right? I think so. Light up thy stage. Curiosity. I like them all. I see I don't think it's that good in our deck. All right, we got a game plan now. We're an obsession deck. So now we need just more early creatures and that is our plan. Will it work? Stay tuned. More news on 11. Wow, 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 wow. 
Niv Mizzet. I don't know if Niv Mizzet's here, but if we can get the six mana Niv Mizzet with curiosity, fan me down, fan me down. Is it in here? Anyone know? Okay. Uh, I think Deem Worthy seems fine. We were about to take this last time. Discarding includes cycling. So yeah, we're gonna play this. That was sweet. Wincon gifted a sub to Dr. Golded, their 17th gifted sub. Thanks, Wincon, appreciate you. How you been? Gifted subs, gifted subs. Woo woo. We're more of a pile of cards deck right now. Just a pile of good blue red cards. Oh, thanks, Wincon, and welcome back to the greatest game in the world. All right, I don't want to play any of these cards, but maybe we find something more splashing. Riley with Bowman is is poggers indeed. Castle made it. Yeah, that's a gasser. That's a gasser. Oh yeah, and Valakut's Awakening with it is insane. All right, this card is just probably insane. Awakening, it's absolutely bananas. Oh, oh, you're right, dang it, okay. Less bananas. It's a straight scam? Damn it. Damn scams. And then again, I don't remember you. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Wow. No, that card's just too bad. Okay. Well, we got some good cards here. Scary Terry, if we can get enough instants. I don't think we can. Channeler is probably just the best card. Or Lightning Strike for removal. This seems like a good card in our deck. Striker Channeler, I agree. I think it's probably Strike. I think it's, we take strike and hope channeler wheels because that has a higher likelihood. Yeah, Terramander actually with, yeah, okay, because we have two of the enchantments, I'm gonna bit Terramander. We just want the Curious Obsession draws. Demonic Pact, I want that card. Skewer. Could just play Obosh. Could also treasure map. That's a decent card. Probably just skewer. It's a safe, good card. Siren Storm Tamer, then we're just becoming a mono blue deck here. Shatter Skull Smashing is pretty good too, right? Minotaur is not good. That's too clunky for our deck. It's Terramander or Shatter Skull for me. I think I probably don't want Tome in this deck. This is not developed into a very good Tome deck. 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to play God's Pharaoh's Gift either, but I'm thinking about it. It's a great late game card. Ho! It's got to be Chandra here. Sarkin's also good, but Chandra's just bananas. Slam dunk pick that. All right, I think we want to cut this and this. So what, this is 23... Uh, this is 17 lands right now. I think we can put one more spell in. <laughs> yeah, it might be some matches where we bring it in against something grindy, like a lot of removal black deck or something. Like black red removal, I bet we'd bring it in. Octopus? Crackling Drake, this has a higher chance of wheeling. Hell Raider, this is a good card, but we gotta take Octopus. That's our whole deck. Wow, Slither Blade is awesome too. I want so many cards from that pack. So this is a deck right here. I think this is what I would play. 16 land plus the Awakening. Right, 12, that's 15 land, so we would have to cut one. I think I want 17 land total. I mean, Rekindling Phoenix is a heck of a magic card. It's just powerful. I think that one's worth it. Inscription doesn't seem like a good card to me. Stormcaller? Oh, shit. That's got to be good, right? Is it good? Doesn't seem very good, actually. We don't have that many spells. I think we probably just take the Triome. Feels bad, but we really don't have a Stormcaller. Yeah, best of one's still a thing. Uh, we're playing best of three for this one, but yeah, you can you can still best of best of one. Yeah, or just if we had just better spells, you know? I mean, even like an opt here or there. Oh, shit, did we hit the sub goal? Nice, thanks, everyone. Appreciate that. That was balling. Oh. Once again, how many instants and sorceries do we have? Not many, so I don't think that's actually a good card. What about this sword? Yeah, I think the sword's actually pretty strong in our deck. Sub goal hype, win con, put it over the edge. Okay, we got our channeler back. I think I would play that. Uh, what was that, number four? I think this is number five. <laughs> Um, I think I'd prefer to not play any of these cards. Might play it, but probably not. Minotaur for the memes. All right, updated that. I'll play field, I think. Mm, Ashiak for the board probably would have been better. You're right. Oh, baby! God! Uh, the, all three of these are good. What do I pick? Hurry, everyone! I think it's crackles, but I don't know. 
think it was the correct. I might have mispicked there. Okay, y'all agreed with Drake? That's good. Stormcaller? Wow, our deck is kind of insane. If we had a little bit more spells. If we had a few more good spells, I think our deck was just bananas. Okay. So let's check it out. I think 16 land in this deck is probably fine. 16 including double face cards. Wouldn't you agree, chat? Yeah, I agree with you, Bad Lotus. Okay, so let's keep in the powerful ones. I like all of our one drops. Mm. I think we just get Stormcaller out of here. There's just not enough. Um... Probably the same for Pyromancer, but it's okay. How many lands is this? 17, so we can cut a land. We probably just cut field. We always trust chat. Fibblethip seems pretty bad. I will agree with that. Um... Uh, hmm. No, I think Surge is good. I think Surge is still strong. This works decent with Riley. Riley is just probably bad, right? It's like good with Bowmat, otherwise it's not good with anything else. Ooh, wait a minute. It's good with this. So it's good with this, it's good with this, it's good with Bowmat. That's three things. I think that's enough. I don't know what to cut. Curiosity with Grim Lava Mancer? Yeah, that's a nice one. One more land, we have 18. Oh yeah, okay. Um, we can probably cut a mountain. Yeah, let's cut a mountain. So we need three other cuts. I think the sword is actually good. It's a good way to push through damage when we get to a board stall. Um, Young Pyromancer, I think, is a cut. Let's cut Young Peasy. What about Essence Scatter? Electro Dominance? Yeah, probably, huh? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so one more cut. I already cut him on, we're down to 16 land. Yeah. Yeah, Riley's not great, but it has some good synergy, so I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's 17 with Awakening. Oh, wait, was I saying I wanted 16? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, let's do 41 with 17 land. I think that's, like, perfect. All right, 41 card deck. Let's put some sleeves on this. Um, oh yeah, we'll lightning bolt him. Is it tempo? 41 card special, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. We did not qualify for day two. We were defeated easily. All right, let's go first. We can do it. All right, which one is better to strap Curious Obsession on? They're both bad. They're both bad to strap it up to, but probably Grim. Yes, chat, we're doing it. All right, they could have shock. Don't care, no problem. Bang. Okay. 
Here go. Well, that was that was fun while it lasted. Fun while it lasted. Psy, Psy in the teamer deck. I believe it. I'm done with Historic, honestly. I have no more reason to play Historic till like 2021, so I, I'm off it. I honestly had my fill uh, this last couple weeks, so nope, off it. All right, zero three. that has no sight of getting bigger. Yeah, I'm happily off it. Okay, I still think we want a Crackling Drake here. All right, we got three creatures, one power. Let's go. Probably should have held Scatter, realistically. But I'm feeling froggy. This is what limited is all about, right? Just three creatures, one power, eight toughness. I'm glad we didn't hold scatter. That would have been a tilt. It's pretty cute. Well, that was interesting. We can kill this and then attack it for three, or we can cycle it. And get another card. I guess that's not very good, right? Kill Beetle and Swing, I think, is correct. We can cycle this for extra value, too, which is kind of sweet. Let's get that Beetle out of here. All right, so next land triggers Dragon Master. They have to deal with that. Yeah, cycling triome, we draw two cards. Got him. Synergy. They just can have two of those? The fuck? Oh, this is cool. Karn. Okay, that was BS. Just leave our Dragon Master alone. They're not harming anyone. <gasps> Whoops! Whoopsies! Hello! <laughs> Should've used Domri! 
Shoulda used dumb re. Shoulda used dumb re. Shoulda cut up what up. Shoulda cut up what up. Okay. Probably just double fighting. Which is still very good, but. Channeler, 4-4. Four, four. Or not a 4-4. Four, four. Um, could pick that up. That's not very good. Um, but it stops us from dying. I think we got to get lucky. How about an island? That was pretty good. Step one was had to get rid of Rada, so we'll take that. We like this. We don't like that. Neither of those help me. All right, so we're one removal away from death. Well, Karn looked literally abysmal there. On the play, I think it's fine, but we'll definitely take it out on the draw against this deck. YOLO. Well, we had the nut draw with having a curious obsession, but they just rudely had any removal, which broke up our, our game plan completely. All right. Okay, I think I'll keep, we'll play Terry just in case we get either Curiosity or, uh... ooh, I should have brought Electro Dominance in. I'll, I'll switch out that for Karm, but I don't like Soul Scour. Hey, our deck isn't that bad, is it? Yeah, probably. All right. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's not great. That's okay, that's okay. Um, let's attack. I mean, this sword could just take over. Yeah, we just don't have that many burn spells, though. We literally drew both of the ones we had. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. They're dead. Close games, close games all around. All right. Game three, game three. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Teamer to Mono Green. We got the draw. We have it. We have it. Will they break it up again? Probably. This time we'll go with this creature. How do I do this again? Do I just mutate at any time or does it have to be attacking? Over. Got him. Come on, don't have it. No! No! Ugh. Um, Vi 
vigilance and we're okay i think we just get channeler going okay so let's start with this Oh, shit. Well, neither of these are good. Can cycle this and deal some damage? I guess I think I have to. What else am I doing? Ugh. Oh, and I bet we can't even cycle, huh? Yep, no, we can't. All right, all right. That's okay. Sad day. Channeler, you suck. That was super punishing. Okay, no blocks. Well, I think we strap up. Okay, now let's get rid of this crackling drake. I think I want to just play a mountain. So dead. No. Wow. <laughs> we got wrecked. We got wrecked. Okay, so you kin 3 0, but you get to keep playing. Ah, okay, okay. That makes sense. All right. Well, it's at least uh, scrounged together a 2-1, hopefully. No, now we will 2-1. Yeah, those three games were awful. <laughs> to be fair, we're not trying to interact too much with our opponent either, but... All right, we got it. Busted hand. Yeah, our deck's probably pretty bad, y'all. This is the only time I've really tried to play like an aggressive aggro deck instead of a just beefy planeswalker interactive spell deck. Those are always the best, you know? Yeah, I know. Our, both our games that we lost, we had the start. And if they didn't have a removal, we were probably going to win very easily. But if they did, we lose on the spot. Got him. All right, then we can... Uh, Mesmeric glare them next turn, hopefully. Ah, uh, oh wait, yeah, they can still take this. I thought it was non-land, or I mean non-creature, non-land. Dang it. I'm guessing they take this, otherwise I just get to counter something, yeah. All right, naturally we're not gonna draw a fourth land with our busted four drops. And the activation. Your go. Okay. The whale. Play a four mana creature, please. Get that card out of here. Thank you, Bad Lotus. Thanks for taking that back. <laughs>
Do we think that they have the removal spell? I think we YOLO it. Do we YOLO it? We YOLO, YOLO it. No! Sensor! Tilt! Hostage taker! You have de been deemed worthy of this removal spell. Okay. So now we can attack, then play Phoenix for lethal. What the hell is this? Oh my god. So they can, uh, oh my God, I cannot play this because they can take it with hostage taker. So I'm just gonna draw a card. Yeah, that would be so busted. I can't let them do that. Yeah, that would just be insane. So I can't give him rekindling. They're not pressuring me a lot, so we can just keep with the unbeatable sailor. Oh, and you can just do this anytime, but I just drew a fireball. I think they're dead. So they can return the Master of Wales as well. Yeah, that wasn't a bad drop. Yeah, that was definitely a tilt for the opponent. A whale, in response, kill you. <laughs> yeah, we were not winning that game until we uh, drew the fireball, that's for sure. Okay. Blue black stuff. I mean, God's Pharaoh's gift, this kind of seems like a matchup for it. Um, seven mana is so much, but could easily just be game breaking. Let's get Crackling Drake out here. It's just been so bad. Ah, yeah, Tome. Uh, Tome would have been good. I would have wanted to keep Sword as well, but yeah, Tome should be in our deck. Dang it. Nice. All right, we got the we got the one two three curve. Okay, that that helps. Fizzle fizzle. Okay.
I feel like we can't go for it with this. Um, so yeah, we'll just attack for one. We got the skewer, we're gonna have a good turn. That's fine. No blocks. We're doing good so far. Damn it. Hooray! <laughs> we just keep getting lucky as hell. Um, kind of don't mind getting rid of those things, but I guess I can wait. This we don't have to play yet. All right, we can just God Pharaoh's gift next turn. Okay. It's not like that combo assemble. <laughs> I'll say go. We're giving these people the beat down. Sounds good. <laughs> GG, get wrecked, get wrecked. Why didn't we attack first? I didn't miss an attack, I don't think. I could have. Nice, SBS. Yeah, blue-red doesn't seem like a powerful combination, but Chandra is a heck of a card. All right, last match, y'all. Last match of the stream, so get all your loving in while you can now. Next And tomorrow, I think we're going to do a Magic Online stream, as long as there's a cool tournament to play. I haven't looked at the schedule, um, but I'm pretty pumped about that. I'm not going to lie. Put down Arena for a little bit, get back to our holy grail of Magic Online. Okay, no one drop, but we'll take it. Well, they could have blocked with it. They could have blocked with that card. Yeah, no. You definitely you definitely wanted to skewer first. Got a creature? Got a creature you'd like to play? Main phase creature to help out my essence scatter? How nice of you. What up, Zertimus? How are ya? Come on, let my octopus go. It's a no-brainer. I think the sword is just unbelievable. That's like our best card in the deck, to be honest. The sword just has been busted. 
Yeah, I don't blame him. You leave that octopus alone. How dare you? How dare you have the nerve to do that to me? All right, here we go. Sideboards are indeed for boomers, yes? And I'll happily be a boomer. Sideboarding is life, man, or woman. Okay, I forgot what that card does. Well, this is kind of a nice combo here. Okay, so let's go like this. Oh, wait a minute. Are these all humans? Sure are. That's okay. Um, let's go like this then. Attack. Um, escape with three other cards? God, they're basically already there. Maybe I just want to keep that on the battlefield, actually. Uh, you have to mutate onto non-humans. Doesn't come up often, but they are both humans. All right, we'll say go. Well, our curious obsession plan hasn't been working in cube. I'm not gonna lie, like at all. We've been getting one activation and then it's been dying pretty consistently. And like, we're gonna run it out there now, but it's, it's not gonna work. Silent Departure, that Marauder. Oh yeah, that doesn't matter. Bang. Okay. Probably should have did this first. What if I had Curious Obsession? No, they're not a bot. They're a human. Yeah, and that actually took away from their escape for this Gorgon, too. That was not a... I think it would have been much better to just do nothing. Even if their hand was blanks. Thanks for hanging out for uh, this stream today, everyone. This has been a fun one, even though we got absolutely shit on today, but that's okay. Absolutely destroyed. But we're taking our frustration out on cube players. We'll be killing this. Probably just kill it with Chandra. <laughs> Falls off. <laughs> yes. Our opponent has played suboptimally. I'll run into a wrath, I'm not afraid. Reading cards is important. True dat. True dat. All right, pretty slowish deck, so I'm gonna bring in the two slow cards. Um, Which cards are heinous? 
This card has just been so bad. And that card's been pretty bad. All right, YOLO. YOLO. Game number two coming up. Oh, that's totally true. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a ton of interactions that if you didn't play during those standard time, and honestly, that's why I'm bad at Legacy Cube. I miss those things all the time just because I didn't play at those times. It's just, yeah, same thing for Arena. And Cube is a perfect way to dip your feet into uh, competitive magic, though, to be honest, because then you see some of the powerful cards and what they do. So then when you see them in, like, you know, standard or historic decks, then you're like, oh, yes. I smashed someone with this Hydroid Crisis before. That card's bananas. All right, y'all, let's do it. Maybe last game of the stream. Tome's great here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Lego, 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 Lego. All right, what do we got, Korgoth? I got the unbeatable sailor, so can't lose. They have the unbeatable one drop as well. Probably Devils play that down. Maybe I'll just block with Sailor if they give me the option. Yeah, that would be better. The MIQ did not go well for me at all. We went two and three. We ran into some bad stuff, let me tell you. Okay. This is going to work for them this time. And then we'll just skewer it, it looks like. Yeah, that's all right. We get to take a break from Historic then for a long time. Uh, Red Black. I had a Grixis list that I built, and now I kind of wish I pulled the trigger, but it's not like it's that much better, um, you know, than the Rakdos version, but maybe we'd have, we would have did better. So let's attack. Let's skewer this. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to take a break from Historic, though. Uh, pretty off it. Pretty off it. I've been just practicing it for so long in preparation for the Zendikar Rising Championship. That now I'm just, I'm sick of it. When Rakdos Arcanist was just great and people weren't respecting it, then I was still having a lot of fun. But now that they were, it's less fun. Less fun. Because that deck, once it's respected, it's not a good deck, unfortunately. Like, you can respect Sultai and it's still a good deck. But if you respect the Arcanist decks, not good. Okay. Ouch. Can you elaborate? Um, yeah, because if you respect that deck, there's cards that just brick the whole deck. Leyline and uh, Rest in Peace just shut the deck down. Um, so if you play those, you're gonna beat the deck. Um, but people just weren't playing them for so long that the deck was awesome. But when people do respect it and play that, then it's really, really bad, is what I meant. Um, since they know about this, I think I'm just going to draw.
We'll tag. I think we do this nice and patiently, not let them counter my Phoenix. Yeah, probably correct. Yeah. Okay. Kindling Phoenix, such a busted magic card. I got the skies on lock. Skies on lock. Skies on lock. Bump, bump, bump. Just love this artwork too. One of my favorite pieces of art. Exactly like that wagon killer. And the problem is, uh, you know, if people were just trying to respect that deck, you probably wouldn't see that many ley lines, but people were also respecting uh, the teamer engine decks. And that, that's a good enough reason to bring some serious hate, you know? Um, yeah, I'll take it. You got me. Okay. Beat down. Um, I think we'll draw a card. Now do we want to just draw another card? This card's not very good, so why not? I like drawing cards. Oh yeah. You didn't have to tell me that for that one to be obvious. Won't be let, won't be blocking that vessel. Anybody else ADD lead just like click all the fun things around? I do it on every single map. Okay. <laughs> Always nice. Draw. Lethal! Bang, 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 bang! <laughs> alright, alright. Well, we got obliterated in the first round and then uh, had a nice victory.